Hey guys, it's Angie. Today I was packing my train case for a wedding and I thought I would film what's in my kit. I'm gonna go through all the different products in my kit as well as show you my train case. I don't think any kit is complete without a train case. They really do make a difference in transporting your makeup as well as organizing and also how professional you appear to your clients. This case in particular is from LeeCosmetique.com and LeeCosmetique.com is kind of an online one-stop shop for makeup artists and enthusiasts alike. They have tons of different brands of makeup and tons of different products, tons of different supplies that makeup artists need. So I'm going to put the link to their store below if you'd like to check them out. I'd like to introduce you to my case. This is the Zuka Pro Artist Case in Black with Black Frame. And this is hands down my favorite chain case that I've ever used. Um, it's sturdy, you can travel with it, it's light, you can even sit on it, and most importantly, the wheels roll like a dream. The wheels on the Zuka are quite larger in comparison to other makeup cases, which make the case extremely easy to maneuver as well as rotate on a dime and also to travel with. Speaking of travel, the Zuka comes with a travel case that slips on top of the unit and it zips up as well, so you could check the bag if you needed to. Zuka frames are incredibly strong and they're made of an aluminum alloy. They do have a lifetime warranty as well and you can sit on them up to 300 pounds. The case measures approximately 20 inches tall, 14 inches deep, and 10 inches wide, which should fit in many planes overhead compartments. There are a ton of pockets on the exterior of the Zuka as well. I store a lot of my makeup wipes, um, even my brush rolls on one side. And on the other side I keep face charts in case I need to show a bride a certain look or you know, write down products. Even the back has pockets where I keep my business cards and my pins. You definitely want to have those with you if you're on a job. On the inside flap of my Zuka, I keep some other items as well. I have my camera. I think it's really important to take a camera with you so you can document your makeup and just, you know, even show your bride how her makeup's going to come out in photographs. I also have some little bottles of makeup remover. I have a 91% alcohol, there's a hand sanitizer, there's a water, just you know, really nice things to have and keep with you in your case. Now inside the Zuka, you're gonna find five utility pouches. These pouches are made of a nylon, which means they're easily cleaned if you, you know, happen to spill anything. I'm gonna go through each of my utility pouches with you, so let's get started. My first pouch contains all of my eye products. You can see some false lashes as well as some eyelash glue. Next you'll see all of my bases as well as cream eyeliners. Of course we have some tweezers. Next this is an eyeliner sealant that I like to have for brides to waterproof their eyes. And some more waterproof mascara. An eye primer, pencil sharpener, an eyelash curler, and I have some eyebrow pencils, an eyeliner, and some more eye bases. My second pouch contains all of my lip products. As you'll notice, I have a nice lip scrub here. You definitely want to exfoliate anybody's lips if you're going to be applying color. And brides definitely want smooth, kissable lips. I also have an Embryolise Repair Stick, which is just a really nice, intensive lip balm. I use lip pencils as a base for my lipstick, so I do have a bunch of colors in my kit. I have a lot of pinks, naturals, nudes, as well as some reds, just a variety. And I also have a variety of lip shades. As you can see, I have some lip tars. And I do recommend using those with a lip liner or they will bleed. And I also have some lip glasses from MAC. And then we have some fan favorite MAC lipsticks. They're kind of like, you know, holy grail lipsticks. And also these Milani color statement lipsticks that I love. Moving right along, this pouch contains a lot of palettes as well as some face products. So as I unzip it, you'll see there's the naked palette on top. And this is just a really good bridal palette. I have the Lorac Pro palette. I have my MAC standardized eyeshadow palette. I even have my Smashbox contour palette. I have a concealer palette. There's my Tarte Amazonian clay blushes. I even have some, you know, facial glow highlighter products as well. It's just kind of a catch-all type of pouch. Keep sounding like a kangaroo talking about pouches but this next pouch has a lot of face products as well as some like personal items but i like to carry a lot of different things um, as far as face goes there is an illuminator from nars here and i also have a setting powder two setting powders and a comb you never know there's some hairspray there's even some eye drops and here's the foundations that i love for bridal work also my foundation primer 
and this is the moisturizer I like to use. This is the Lot Creme Concentrate and Breath Mints and Finishing Spray. So I have the Scandinavia and I have the HD Finishing Spray from PPI. The last pouch has all of my special kind of palettes and these are the alcohol activated palettes that I'm going to be using on my friend because I'm going to be painting wings on her back. I actually have a video on that if you want to see. But I've got my Real Creations palette, I've got my Alchemy palette, my Mardi Gras palette, and I also have um, some rhinestones and I have my activator and a, a bottle of glitter and then all of my brushes that I use to fill in the wings. This is kind of a specialty thing. I wouldn't bring this normally to most weddings. I did want to show you guys my brush roll. This is from Makeup Holic Liz. I bought it from her Etsy store a couple years ago, I believe. I'm not sure if she still makes them, but it's a great little product. It protects my brushes and um, I can easily clean it if I need to. So this works perfectly for me and I always have this with me in my case. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's inside my makeup kit, for a wedding at least. Um, do keep in mind, my kit changes from job to job. But otherwise, I hope some of you found it helpful. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up and join me on Facebook and Twitter as well. We can chat, we can have fun, we can talk, we can be friends. Because I, you know, you guys are kind of growing on me. Otherwise, that's it. Take care. See you soon. Bye.